Hi guys, today I want to discuss on how we should understand edge dislocation in FCC materials. So if you see here, this is a perfect dislocation and this is shockly partial dislocations and I show a movie here. So you can see that a perfect dislocation actually splits into two shockly partial dislocations. So why this happens and how do we understand this? And the red atoms you are seeing are actually the HCP atoms which are ABAB stacking. And now we use Ovito to understand this. So in Ovito, uh, you can see here I have inputted the simulation cell which is like 44 dot atom which is my dump file atom and I have put modifications DXA modification dislocation analysis so I input the crystal structure FCC and these are the dislocation analysis results and you can see there are two shockley partials I didn't show the figure but it is showing that there are two shockley partials with a length of this so if you see in FCC materials to understand dislocations you should understand Thomson tetrahedron so this Thomson tetrahedron is nothing but a closed packed uh, tet uh, tetrahedron which are formed by joining the face centers of the FCC cube and if you see here there are five kinds of dislocation in FCC materials perfect shockley steroid hurt frank partial and perfect is represented by these edges shockley partials are represented by some a gamma and gamma beta like that alpha beta alpha a like that so it's nothing but from the vertex to the centroid of this face so this face is an equilateral triangle and this centroid you connect it to the vertex that is a shockley partial so you can see that these two shockley partials react to give this edge dislocation so and there is steroid So steroid is nothing but alpha d plus beta d beta equals to alpha beta. So this is the steroid which is found by connecting two centroids of two face of two faces, and then there is frank partial which is formed by joining the vertex to the opposite centroid of this face. So this is frank partial, and her dislocation is nothing but a one third zero zero one kind of dislocation, and this is formed by some kind of reaction. So the so these are the five kinds of dislocation out of this this is the mobile dislocation and these three are not mobile dislocations now if you see here these green atoms represent that they are fcc atoms and these white atoms represents which are not cubic atoms so if i play this video you can see that uh, you can see uh, an edge perfect edge dislocation is formed and if you play this you can see two shockley partials in the same video I have shown previously you can see here you see the same thing here so this is the reaction so this is the perfect dislocation which splits into two shockley partials which are shown here and this is possible by Frank's rule so the Frank's rule the reaction is favorable if this square plus this square is less than v1 square so it's basically an energy rule so the energy is directly proportional to g into b square g is nothing but shear modulus and b is the burgess vector so if you take the burgess vector uh, of these two you get a square by 6 by a plus a square by 6 that is nothing but a square by 2 a square by 3 which is less than a square by 2 so this reaction is favorable because of the energetics this has a low energy state compared to the perfect dislocation. Now let's see how we can make this video in Ovito. Now what I do is I have perfect dislocation which is an intermediate stable state but this is the most stable state shockley partial. So to see this intermediate stable state initially For my minimization command, I am using 
these tolerance values and these maximum iterations of minimizer and this is the maximum number of the four slash energy evaluations so and i'm outputting the data for every 100 thermodynamic steps what i do right now is i reduce the number of four slash energy evaluations and if i go to the another script which i have written so in this script i have given one a dump every one thermodynamic step so that i can see the complete transition and then i'm using the minimization command and reducing the number of evaluations of force less energy to 200 from 10000 to 200 so that i can have less number of iterations and the simulation is done faster so after this i go out and I run the lamp simulation so if you see the lamp simulation takes about 18 seconds and now I go to Ovito so this is my Ovito and I am taking the dump file and inputting here so I put it on the side now what I do is if I play this video if I play this video, you can see that the atoms are coming closer and the dislocation is being created here. So, to make a video of this, I give the DXA analysis and I remove the particles and you can see the dislocation is formed here. Now, I can show you that this is a perfect dislocation which has a length of 25.8. Now, I go to the next huge steps ahead I go to the 89 step you can see two shockly partials are formed you can see here and now I go a little bit further and do expression selection so in the expression selection I do this so you can see here there are many properties I do the structure property type so if you see in the DXA, I go here, the structure, which are other FCC, HCP, BCC, cubic, hexagonal, diamond. So, I select structure type equals to zero, which is for the other type, other, and you can see here the IDs are given, the other is 0 and FCC is 1. I give OR, so this is the piping, I give OR and structure type equals to equals to 1. So these are the boolean expression I will give and I do particles, so these many particles are selected. You can see here, I go some thermodynamic steps ahead and you can see that the particles selected have changed and now I go I delete I delete selected particles and you can see the partial dislocations as well as the stacking fold atoms which are nothing but the HCP atoms so you can see the HCP are represented by two which are red in color So this is a perfect dislocation and then we see a perfect dislocation changing into two shockly partials. And this is how you can view the transitions in the in the dislocations and thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions please leave a comment below i would very much interested to answer these questions and subscribe to our channel have a good day